to give your home a trendy spring refresh. Listen up, our girl Helen Austin is here to help us with the latest trending spring hues to bring to our home, which I always love because I love color. But Helen, first up, um, we are talking obviously spring colors. What spring colors are trending right now? All right, so green is a really big one. Okay. So green is kind of the surprise of the year. I don't yeah. know if it's a total surprise, but it's one that's gone mainstream. So okay. you will see it right now in like tile, things that are very permanent rather than things we can like put in and mm -hmm. then pull out that aren't huge investments. Okay. And it's really fun because green, I think yes. brings, it's still we're back with nature. Um, and it just has this great kind of energy and calming effect as well of okay. different hues. I think the 1970s gave green a bad rep. <laughs> and so we're bringing it back and there are really great ways to do that. Blue is always classic and oh, therefore so I feel like it's always trendy. It okay. just works always. If you aren't sure how you're going to incorporate color, go with blue. Okay. Always. Nice and easy. And then again, yes. the different shades of it. Right. Different right. shades. You know, everything can really work in the right setting. Okay. I'm like oogling over <laughs> all of these here. Um, um, let's talk a little bit about making a big impact. All right, what, big how impact. How would we do that? Yes. Oh, wallpaper. You're going to hear oh, okay. me praise wallpaper, and it's, I know, unexpected. Another thing that I think in the past people have been scared to use. Yeah, a little And here hesitant. I have two examples. You don't always have to do something really bold okay. on your hand. It's a type of grass cloth that actually yeah. has a blue and green hue to it. So you can do some really pretty texture that's subtle cool. and can be really perfect in the right setting. Okay. And then on a smaller Ooh. budget, something that isn't quite as costly, Freaking just stuff. painting. It's okay. Just painting. You say just painting. Just like painting. <laughs> now, of course, it is cheaper if you do it yourself. It's, I don't enjoy painting painting, but every time I do it, I'm really glad I did it. Yeah. So we have some examples here with blues. You really have a lot of flexibility with the hues. Just They're make beautiful. sure whatever colors you choose, you're taking it into your home and you are testing it because like how the colors look here right now exactly. are going to look very different in every single room and different times of day. Okay. So you really do have to. These um piece, these sheets here are mm -hmm. really popular. They're called sample eyes. It's a good start, but it doesn't quite fully cut it. Okay. So I had started to use these and then I found that I really still needed to go get paint and put it on a wall. And kind of step back and, and step look. Back, yeah, and, and really see it in that light because also these are may not be the type of gloss or whatever finish, finish it's yeah. going to be. Okay. So try make sure you sample it out for sure on a wall and then yeah. look at it different times a day. It is a must. Okay, now that is a big impact. Let's talk about making a big impact but on a budget. Yes. What's the best way to do that? Pillows. Who pillows. Doesn't love? It's like the stuffed animal of adulthood, right? <laughs> Where you just have lots of pillows. So fortunately you can just change covers, right? Okay. So the, the trick is if you're going to take an existing pillow that you can take the cover off of, most of these can. There's a zipper if you buy them retail. Sure. Um, what you want to do is make sure you get a cover that is around four inches bigger than the insert itself. Okay, this is the pro tip. This is yes. what we need to do. So it needs to be four inches larger you, in. Yes, also. I'm sorry. I said, the insert should be larger. I said yeah, that backwards. That's okay, that's okay, no, that's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> the cover should be okay. smaller than the insert. So we want to make sure it fills it out. Sure. Rather than looking just kind of like, it looks slouchy. cheap and slouchy. Yeah, you don't yeah. want that. You want it to look crisp and intentional. And custom pillows are huge, are, are big investments. But I tell you what, when you look at the different fabric opportunities we oh, have, they're, they're really gorgeous. worth it. And when it comes to doing things that are custom, this is like a great entry point for doing a type of custom pillow. Okay, <laughs> amazing ways to make big impact. Um, we've only got 30 yes. seconds, but I would like to hear yes. maybe some suggestions on where to shop to find these things. Okay, locally, uh -huh. Nell Hills is really great. We love Nell Hills. Nell, I mean, it really is, and mm -hmm. it's Our huge, lots of options. Um, Georgie, which is in Brookside, has okay. lots of fun, colorful stuff. So that's great for spring, and I yeah. love it. It's a great year around. And uh -huh. then Home Goods. If you're talking about like a national chain, mm -hmm. you know, you do have to put, you know, a little bit of searching into it. But man, you can find some really good stuff there as well. Okay, I just love all the inspiration. Love the pro tips. Helen, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. When she comes in, we all learn everything. Um, if you want help bringing more joy and beauty into your home, contact Helen today for your next design project. She can help you out with all the things. Um, her you can visit her website, HelenAustin.com. Don't forget Austin with an E-N there. And you can also schedule your complimentary discovery call today. Helen, thank you.